today we will talk about uh, Oracle SUI 11G installation. We are going to use the Oracle VM, uh, which is provided free by the Oracle. Uh, this will have the whole installation of Oracle SUI suit, as well as the BPM, as well as the OSP and the JDeveloper. It is a complete package that you need to just use it uh, at your end. Uh, so, uh, so this. Uh, for this, when you have to start it, just keep in mind that your machine should be uh, have at least two gigs of RAM uh, and uh, a good processor. At least you know uh, 1.2 gigahertz. That's what is the processor speed. So this space that you should have is at least 20 GB or free space. You should have because you know the files are pretty big. So when uh, we will be providing you with. Uh, we will be providing you with two files. One is the virtualbox.exe, uh, and another will be the vbox OEL, uh, that is a virtual machine file. So uh, what you have to do is this will be a pretty simple installation on your Windows uh, machine. It can be Windows 7, Windows uh, uh, XP, anything 64-bit, 32-bit, all will be same. So this virtual environment will create a virtual Linux environment at your machine. So it will be like two machines running on your same much uh, on your same, and it is having the two processors. So uh, uh, it is totally legal that we are going to provide you. There is no uh, uh, there is no no fees that you have to give to Oracle or anybody for this. Um, so when we will provide you this uh, this thing, you will have to just install VirtualBox 414.74291 bin. Just double click on it, and you know start the program. So just Go to, to the simple installation like you do uh, for your, uh, you know, any of the install, uh, you know, like any installation you do on for a window machine. So just follow those steps, and it will get installed. So I'm not able to do it because this is already installed on my machine. Once uh, the installation is complete, you will see the Oracle VM Virtual Box being installed on your system. Just click, double click on it. So you will see some uh, this type of interface. So here you have to go to the import, go to the import appliance, and here choose the file. So this file is what that will be, will be providing you. Use it, open it, and it will create a VBox OEL on the right hand uh, on the left hand column. It will create it. So uh, after that, that's now a very important step comes. You have to click right click on it and go to the setting. So here. You have to go to the network and first check out what is the adapter one. You have to make it sure that enable network adapter uh, is checkbox and it is attached to NAD. Then you have to check for go to the tab of adapter two. Here you will go to you should check whether it is enable network adapter is checked or not. If not, check it. And then from the drop down, select host only adapter. And in the name it should automatically come virtual box host uh, Ethernet adapter. Sometimes you will see when you click this, this field will not getting be getting populated. This is a non bug. So what you have to do is just again cancel it, go back, and just uh, you know uh, 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 you know cancel this everything, restart your Oracle virtual box, go to the settings again, and you should be able to now see the adapter too. You know, so you will be now that this is long bug and this is the workaround that you need to do. Then uh, once this is done, you have to just cancel it and you, you just click OK and you know come out of it. And here start the click the start button. Click OK. So the Oracle VM virtual box will start off. It will take some time depending upon the machine. So you know, so um, so there is nothing to panic about it. So just you know, let it do uh, the work.
So mounting file system will fail. There will be a couple of failed messages. Don't worry about it. Let it go. So this uh, install comes with the 10G database. So let it. Uh, so so you don't need to have any database here. So we will when we will be in the tutorial and uh, we will show you how to use that for your doing your exercises. It will ask for the username. That so the username is Oracle. Password is also Oracle. So the, your uh, machine is started. So your virtual machine is ready. Now to start off the Oracle uh, WebLogic server and your, you know, uh, SUA suit, you have to just click on this. This is a complete install of WebLogic server as well as the SUA suit. Um, and it is a single domain. That means admin and uh, managed server domains are one over here. We will come to the point when we will be in the, uh, in the classes, we will show you what the admin server is, what a managed server is, and what is their importance. So for now, just Double click on the start stop WebLogic server. It will a menu will come up here. Select start. Click OK. Again click OK. OK. And it will you know start your uh, admin server with everything with BAM EM. It will start everything. So it will take some time. So wait for the time. It will take somewhere between five to ten minutes. So how will you know that server is starting? There will be two ways. One is starting, it will show you over here as written as OK. Another is, here is the browser that is there. Okay. So this is a Firefox browser that we will you will be using to, you know, um, get to know whether the server is up or not and access your consoles and all that. So just click on it. So if you see it is unable to connect, that means my server is still not active and I can see it's not okay. So wait for it. By the time you can just check out, there is a help that is provided. This gives us all the paths for all the, you know, um, what are all the installs. So if you see, we are having SUA suit 1113, Oracle BPM suit as again 1113, Oracle BAM as 1113, Oracle g developer is already installed as 1.3, and, and the Java version that comes with it is 1.6. And this is what our uh, very important uh, URLs are so and we will see each and every you know utility of them as we will uh, go through our you know, exercises that it's still complete it's not uh, we have not received the okay message
so maybe first time it will always take time so you know so um, you have to uh, just be patient about it You know, uh, if we click web browser, we should be able to get into the server. So let it let it start off again. So now, if you see, it is loading. This is the ADF page that lo gets loaded. So uh, first time, the ADF page is not in the memory. It takes time to get cached. So you know, uh, uh, so let it uh, just do its work. So this is called the EM console, which is the enterprise manager console of SOA. Uh, all your code, your debugging, everything will be governed from this console only. So just click on it. The password username will be uh, weblogic and password will be welcome one. Let it get loaded. Okay. So, um, so if you see the screen has come up and um, you, you should see this thing as fully green. This is about a, how many processes are deployed. So some of the processes, you know, it can be down or, uh, uh, you know, they are in, in the other state. So that's fine. So if this is up, so everything is up. So once you will deploy the processes, you will see they will all come over here under the default. Okay. So this is all about the server. So so now the question is how where you will be writing the code. So you will be using Oracle J developer to write the code. Just double click on it. Again, this is a heavy uh, service, so you know uh, it will take a little bit of time. So the role that you have to select is a default role. So let it come up. Let it this thing be just come up. So it takes time to load.
so this has loaded so these are all uh, you know these are all uh, pre created processes just you know click on you know so we can just see uh, whether it has everything just click on new so what here click on the soa project give anything my project sorry if i have written it wrongly my project next decomposite so yes so this seems my installation is all right i, I can always see the components on the this is my j developer so here i will be writing my codes and all that you know so this is the place where you know all my components and everything will be written but this is where all my projects will be and from here i will be taking my projects and you know my components and putting it in this place so uh, for my this project purposes i will be deploying from uh, directly by just right clicking and clicking the deploy it will go over in the server and i will be checking this over here so if you will be seeing the all this over here so this is what we will be following but we will be also showing you how this is not the way that we will be doing in production so what are the other ways to do the deployments you know and how uh, different ways of doing deployments and how to debug we will talk when you know we will be uh, in the session so to close it just close this to stop the server double click on the start stop now click the stop click okay click bpm as the okay stopping it it will stop everything and then to close it you have to just close the shut down the computer and this will shut down all of your um, um, all the workspace and everything and you are done so again restarting you have to again use the vm machine and you know um, you can uh, uh, just use it so the the thing is why we are not having every installation that are and is because vms are pretty easy to you know handle you can just export it and import it and you know use it whenever you want if you like working you use that as you can always keep all these big servers uh, you know on down in the down state so that's all today uh, for the uh, uh, for the our class so hope you must uh, have learned something so last you can find it uh, the documentations on our site thank you bye bye Thank you.